Hi, and welcome to this voiceover mixing in Final Cut Pro X. So lately on my videos, I got some questions and also compliments how I do my own voiceover, um, what plugins I use and how I mix it actually. So I thought it would be a good idea to make a video about that. I'm going to show you how I do that in Final Cut Pro X. I don't use Logic Pro X for that. You can do all the things you need to do directly in the editing software. And um, I'm going to use Wave plugins, also Logic plugins that you can, of course, use in Final Cut Pro X. And I'm also going to show you what um, hardware I use, so recorder and microphone. All right, so let's get to it. So first of all, I use as a microphone the Lavalier microphone that you can see here. It's a very small microphone from Rode. It's the Smart Love Plus. I have also a review video about that in the description below. So check that out if you're interested in that. And I'm going directly into the Zoom H4n recorder, um, which is um, the latest version of it by now, H4n Pro. Um, it's a very good recorder. There is also a review, of course, about that. Just check the description below. And um, it's actually a microphone that has a three pin connector. So it was designed for smartphones actually. And I also used it in the beginning with my smartphone. Um, but there is a small cable that it can attach to it um, where it gets converted to a um, two tip um, input. All right. And there's of course also a long extension cable from Rode that you can buy separately. Six meter cables are pretty long. And that's basically my whole recording chain. And as far as recording goes, I try not to push it too hard. Um, peaks are around negative 12 to negative 8 um, dB here on the scale. And yeah, that's actually it. And then once I finish the recording, I dump everything into the computer and in Final Cut Pro X. And now we're going to have a look um, what plugins I use and actually how I use them. All right. Here we are in Final Cut Pro. Here is the intro that you just have scene and I'm going to show you in this example what I actually do to my own voice. So down here below in the timeline here is the voice track um, that's directly from the Zoom recorder and as you can see I already have my plugins here. I'm gonna go step by step what I um, use and how I use it. All right. So first of all um, how do you get a plugin into um, the section here and it's pretty simple. You click here on this um, effects browser menu. It opens up and um, you got here all your video um, plugins or presets and down here are all the audios. Of course there are also third-party plugins if you have installed any, for example plug and mix stuff, dupe, um, waves and so forth. And um, let's say we want to use an EQ here, channel EQ. So all you do is you go to the plugin Click it, hold it, and just drag it over to um, the file you want to process. And here we have it. That's the new channel plugin. I have already one here on top here, but that's the new one. You just can open it and you can just work with it like you would do, for example, in Logic Pro or any other um, audio software. All right. So let's delete that again because obviously I have already one in there. And um, for now, I would say let's disengage all the plugins here. And I would start at the back because there is a limiter and a metering plugin. And I want to talk about that right away in the beginning. Um, because when I disengage the limiter, it's quite um, low in volume. So we're going to start now from the back here and then we go to the top. All right. So, first of all, I got here a limiter, which is the standard Waves L2. I always use that. It's very easy to use and it sounds um, quite good. Um, it has the auto release here on and this output ceiling is negative three. I always use on the voice negative three, especially also on video projects or other video projects. Um, you're kind of like in a safe spot there. You won't hear any clipping depending where you want to release it internet, website, YouTube, um, Vimeo, or for example, if you deliver it to a TV station or something like that, you are kind of like in a safe spot with that setting. Um, threshold here, um, of course, depends on how loud the original source is. So let's play a little bit. 
Hi and welcome to this voiceover mixing in Final Cut Pro X. So lately on my videos I got some questions. So without it would be compliments how I do that low. Voiceover. So you can hardly hear it. Plugins I use and how I mix it actually. So I thought it would be a but good don't worry, idea to make it. Gets a little bit louder with the compressor I'm and the channel EQ. Show you how I do that in Final Cut. And um, as far as the metering goes, um, of course you can use another metering. Um, I use always the um, WLM Plus from Waves. Um, it's a very sophisticated metering plugin with many different presets, for example, different EBU R128 standards. Um, then also, for example, you got a movie trailer, which is measured in leg M. So a little bit of different uh, measurement here. And um, what I try, for example, on YouTube is not to go above negative I would say 18, negative 19 LUFS, which stands for loudness units. And um, it's mostly about negative 20, negative 23. There's also a target mode here, for example, in the EBU 128 standard, which is negative um, 23, for example. So let's see where we are here, for example. Hi, and welcome to this voiceover mixing in Final Cut Pro. Well, let's reset it once again. Pro X. So lately on my videos, I got some questions and also compliments how I do my own voiceover. There's um, a long term and a short term. I use and how I mix it actually. So I thought it would be a good idea to make a video about that. I'm going to show you how I do that in Final Cut Pro X. I don't use Logic. Okay, so that's that. And um, let's see what's the next plugin. Let's go right at the top here, which is a noise suppressor plugin and it's the NS1 from Waves. It's very very easy to use. There's just one slider and it's kind of like a noise suppressor with a gate into it. Um, you probably have heard a little bit of, especially when you use um, headphones, a little bit of hiss and also a little bit of the room, the background noise and so something like that. Um, and this plugin takes care of that. So it will at the best um, completely um, get rid of it. So let's see, that's now with. Hi, and welcome to this voiceover mixing in Final Cut Pro X. So lately on my videos, I and got without. some questions and also compliments how I do my own voiceover, um, what plugins I use and, and how I mix it. Actually. So it's quite so it a bit a of a difference, idea. as you can hear. Of course, you can overdo it. Let's see how that works. How I do my own voiceover. So it gets um, really muffled, like really I chopped off. How I mix it actually. So I thought it would be a good idea to make a video but about I that. But I mostly tend to use to it around negative 10, Final Cut negative 20. Of course, again, it depends how loud your original source, uh, source is and you want to adjust that. Okay, and then the next two is the channel EQ and the compressor. So let's see what I do in the channel EQ. It's probably one of the most important together with the compressor. Um, I got here a preset. Um, for example, when you dialed in all your EQ moves, you can always save um, a preset, for example. I have it here named as the Set Marty Video VoiceOver. Um, just can name it and click Save As. I won't do that now. And once you come back to a new video, for example, to a new edit, you can always um, choose from your presets up here. Here's mine, Set Marty Video Voice, and bam, we got here um, my preset and basically what I always do is start with a low cut, 80, 90, 100 hertz, something like that. A little bit of a low end boost just to get a little bit more bass in the, into the voice. Um, then I get rid most of the times in my voice there is around 500 something that I want to get rid of. Uh, it's a little bit of a, a muddiness down there. Um, also in other voices, um, maybe 250, 300, depends really on the voice. And then um, the presence of a voice is mostly around in this area here, which starts around 500 and goes up to 5000, 6000, 8000 hertz. And so you want to boost it quite a bit, so you um, get a really nice shine into the voice. Um, so my case here, 1.5 dB, and around 5,000 um, with a very wide um, curve here, as you can see, of 3 dB. So nothing in the very high end, so 10,000 Hz, just leave it like that. Don't need to add anything there. 
And yeah, so um, let's see how that sounds with and without. Hi, and welcome to this voiceover mixing in Final Cut Pro X. So lately on my videos, I got some questions and also comments. So that's without, how I do doesn't sound particularly bad. Over. Uh, but of course, we can make it better. And how I mix it actually. So I thought it would be a good idea to make and a with. video about that. I'm going so to show you how. Just, just sounds a little bit more forward, um, has a little bit more presence, and you can understand it, of course, a little bit better, especially when there are other sound sources um, in the background. Okay, and now, last one is the compressor. I try not to overdo it with compression, I just want to have um, the natural voice, but just to catch some transient peaks um, or louder parts. And um, I, of course, have also a preset with that, and I have just to adjust the threshold and saves quite a lot of time when you do that. Um, when you work with your own presets, of course, on your own voice, it's basically always the same. And um, I got here a ratio 4 to 1, a little bit of makeup gain. Of course, um, when there's compression, you need a little bit of makeup in so to have the kind of like the same volume again. Um, a very, very, very um, soft knee. You can see it here in the graph here, for example, when you change the knee, um, it gets soft or a hard knee. And then attack is 10 milliseconds and the release is 29. And that's basically it. No limiter. Of course, I have the L2 at the end. Don't need any distortion. Just want a natural voice. And that's why I also use the Platinum Digital Compressor of Logic. It's a very, very clean and neutral compressor. Um, I don't want to add much coloration in there. All right, so let's see with... Hi, and welcome to this voiceover mixing in Final Cut Pro X. So lately on my so videos, you can see I got the very high peaks, so negative five dB of compression. My own voiceover, and sometimes um, what plugins I use and how I mix it. Actually, of so I thought so it would be a good idea to make a video about that. I'm going to show you how I do that in Final Cut Pro X. I don't use and with. Logic Pro X for that. You can do all the things you need to do directly in the editing software. And that's basically it. And um, I'm going. Um, that's all the compressor is doing. So let's see. Um, let's leave the limiter on and let's disengage all the other plugins. So we have now just with the limiter on, so to get it to a reasonable level, how it Hi sounds. Hi, and welcome to this voiceover mixing in Final Cut Pro X. So lately on my videos, I got some questions and all also right. compliments and how with. I do my own voiceover, um, what plugins I use, and how I mix it actually. So I thought it would be a good idea. So to it's quite a bit of a difference, um, sounds much cleaner and um, works really great for me. Um, so those are just, you can kind of like narrow it down to four different plugins. So with a little bit of a um, noise suppressor plugin, channel EQ, compressor, and the limiter, and you're basically good to go. Of course, you can also use that, um, just the stock plugins, um, like the channel EQ, the compressor, and there's also a limiter in there. Um, depends, of course, where you record it. Um, don't have to use the noise suppressor plugins. I like to use it because it cleans it up really, really well. Of course, you can also use, for example, a little bit of a gate in front of it, and um, but that really depends on the room and where you call it, okay? All right, so I hope I could give you a good overview how I mix my own um, voice on my tutorial videos and my review videos. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already and you liked the video and you wanna see more videos like that in the future. And um, if you have any question, just leave it down below in the comment section and I try to answer them, of course. Um, so thanks for watching and as always, happy recordings and see you next time.